Okay guys, I'm bringing you on my walk and animal lovers, I have something special I want to show you. I'm in Beleek Woods in County Mayo here, a really gorgeous spot by the River Moy, and I want you to look at this. I'm going to show you a grave. It's a mausoleum for a man by the name of Sir Francis Arthur Knox Gore. He actually planted these woods here back in the 19th century, but he was famously loyal to his animals. So much so that it's believed that he's actually buried in this spot here with his beloved horse. And it's surrounded by a dry moat, can you see? Isn't it gorgeous? And the love for animals obviously ran in the family because Sir Charles James Knox Gore, and that would have been Francis's son, is also laid to rest in the woods uh, alongside his faithful dog, Fizzy. That's sweet. As lovely as it is here, would you actually dare to walk here on a misty evening or at night? Because there are stories about a mysterious lady of the woods. She's a ghostly figure. She dresses in flowing white gowns. And uh, yeah, as I said, comes here on a misty evening apparently. And she wanders amongst the trees. You think she's looking for something or someone, but I don't know what or who. It does make me wonder though, being so close to the river, if that has anything to do with it. So anyway, speaking of the river, I'm going to show it to you now, because I've got a stone boat to show you. Or it's more correctly known as the SS Creek Boom. Let me turn around and show it to you. Can you see it? Hold on, where am I? Ah, there it is. So it's a tugboat that was built in the First World War when steel was in short supply. It was eventually decommissioned and brought to the mouth of the river. Of the, uh, this is the Moy here beside me. And the purpose of it was to create a sand bank. Uh, and the intention of that was to allow for free passage up and down the mouth of the Moy and to keep the river navigable. But things took a turn for the unexpected and the ship was damaged during its journey and it started taking on water. So it was eventually abandoned uh, and has been stuck here ever since. It was only moved once, I think, in the 70s to allow for passage of boats from the quay across the river. And now it stands here. Hauntingly beautiful relic from the past bit of a snapshot of history trapped in time. I love walking these woods and it's lately it's been repo repopulated with gorgeous little red squirrels and you sometimes see them around here darting about and climbing up the trees and it reminds me of when I was little and the stories that my dad used to tell me. He had me absolutely convinced that there were teddy bears living in the trees here and we'd start off singing today is the day the teddy bears have their picnic so i still kind of get a little bit excited when i come here with the thoughts of the little teddies climbing about in the trees <laughs> and i think it just goes to show you that we all contribute to the folklore of our own homelands and hometowns I suppose it just takes a little bit of imagination and a love of storytelling. So do you have any family folklore? I'd love to know if you have any good stories. Please tell me about it. It's getting a bit windy now. Anyway, I know I'm probably a bit biased about my hometown, Ballada, here. Do you think am I? <laughs> but I do love this place. And I hope that if you're ever in the west of Ireland, you'll come and pay us a visit because nobody really knows about us here. We're not on the tourist path, as they say. But it is lovely here. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me on my little walk. And please don't forget to follow and share and comment. Join me on YouTube for all my lovely stories. <laughs> well, at least I hope you enjoy them. I'd love to know what your favourite one is. Um, and yeah. Keep telling me all your lovely stories. I need, I'm looking for ideas all the time. Although saying that, there's so many to do. So, slán a